the path on which you walk through life has not been easy recently. Indeed, for quite some time. For times of stress can often stretch so long that every day just getting by takes almost everything you have. Yet, every day, you wake to find the self-same path. This path of life on which you always seem to find yourself, as if walking painfully in worn-out shoes, as if on stones and broken glass. Yet something tells you that it really doesn't have to, truly shouldn't need to be this way. And so, of course, you dream of better times, of being free, to have some well-made shoes, to walk along a path of grass that's good to travel, a path that doesn't hurt the feet or heart or mind, a proper path that walks itself, on which, it seems, you merely collide. Your dream for things to ease, relax, transform themselves. Your life to change, for a little progress to be made. To find yourself each day noticeably closer to your goal. To reach the end of drudgery. Escape your stress and ease your soul. A fairy tale event made true and real, turning something absolutely awful into something quite sublime, with unforeseen conclusions yet with guaranteed glad ending, happy ever after, always, each and every time. And I can say to you with full and proper confidence, this path on which you walk right now has led you here, as here you are, within this present moment, where this, your path, for as long as you may choose, now follows on these words, a chance to venture elsewhere, somewhere new, an overdue departure from the harshness of your path, appealing to your understanding that this path on which you walk is ready for some change in feeling, form, and flavor, for a different kind of walking to a fairer state of mind, in which I ask you, kindly close your eyes, relax, allow your ears hear all I have to say, and in short time, quite naturally, you'll realize you're walking in a very different way. This path on which you walk transform. That never-ending upset 
just a memory. Breathe in this gentle vision. Breathe out the way things used to be. For all things pass without exception. Yes, all upset, pain and sorrow must inevitably end. And so, because you are aware of knowing this, release can now become yourself unlocks its own resistance, as all pictures change to this, a gladly simple, easy way of being, in the other state of mind, this secret space of invisible time, the place beyond your worldly face, unseen by all, unnoticed, undetected, to breathe in peace. A deeper breath, a slow and gentle pace, easily breathing in openly, as if each easy breath, an ever deeper place of comfort, every breath, another step within, and I wonder if you wonder just how deep can comfort guide you through and into ever deeper pleasure realizing just how richly reassuring is this feeling, knowing now, within these endless depths, this feeling is in infinite supply, the world can wait this time and place are yours. There are no expectations or conditions to fulfill. Nothing that you have to do but breathe. Just breathe yourself within this ever deepening comfort as this story flows, the way you are right now is simply perfect, for all of this can happen seamlessly, a slipping inward silently towards your peaceful center, gliding inwards on a trail of gently colored light, as ever, showing brighter on the inside, always so, now opening, discovering, investigating further into this, you can breathe in this gentle vision where disturbance is unknown. You sense these depths of promise, now without a word or thought concerning worldly things. Focus here on this, now brings to mind, as ever, those remembered ways of being, otherworldly so familiar anything can be, you see this all around you as you walk, 
You feel the stony, broken path of life beneath your feet. And as you feel this, know this also, as you follow on these words, and breathing each within you, brings you strength, resolve, and confidence, a knowledge of approaching change of heart about it all. Around your neck there hangs a golden chain, and on that chain your precious golden locket, in which you keep two pictures, two images of you, one of which is of you, just how you are, and have had your being recently. The other image is of you, just how you'd like to be, and feel forever after this. An image of yourself when you have found the better bar, and life is so much sweeter. And when things get tough and difficult, when life is dragging on your soul, you caress your golden locket on this chain around your neck, the one you wear right now, and you imagine just how wonderful your life is going to be, when one day in the future, sometime when, eventually, you found that better path, because, as you know very well, once you found the better path, the image in your locket of the way you feel right now, becomes the image of the you that you would like to be and feel forever after this. The image of yourself when you have found the better path. And when you think like this, you think of this, two pictures in your locket come to mind so very clearly now, the picture of your present self upon this tiresome path, the other picture being of you unburdened and set free, the way that you would like to be and feel forever after this, the way you know it's meant to be, the way that things are going to be. You caress your golden locket as your dream of what shall be, imagining those pictures kept within the one of you as you have been, and the one of you just how you are going to be and feel forever after this. Yet all the while you walk this path of life, there always seems to follow after you your trouble and your worries, and your woe, which tend to fill the larger part of all your thoughts and feelings, anxious stress, low confidence, and so one could truly say, quite rightly, that, in fact, these feelings follow after you, upon your path of life, 
just like an irksome creature which thwarts your power and holds and captures your attention, draining all your energy, stopping you from finding your release, something standing in between the way that you've been feeling and the thing that you now seek. A rest, an easier life, a welcome break, some inner peace. And you can clearly see this creature in your mind, yes, distinctly so. This creature which embodies and personifies your pain, your upset and your woe, like some animated ball of hurtful negativity, an aggravated, aggravating little thing. This ever-present, life-frustrating irritation always seems so close to you, and never seems to quite completely go away reminding you of failure every time you see its tight, pinched face, all twisted up and glowering at you, its hair a mess of tangles, its body all hunched over, as it scurries on in front, around, behind you now, and always and wherever you may go, walking strangely as it does, seeming so to have a limp in both its legs at once. Still, it follows you relentlessly, refusing now or ever to agree to let you go, to find the peace you need reminding you so clearly of your troubles on this road, this path, this route you travel through life's challenges. And even though, once in a while, admittedly, the sun has shone a little, and those better times, from time to time, have seen so very near, remembering your locket and the picture of the way you'd like to be and feel forever after this. But fragile hopes just never seem to flower in the way you'd like them to, because whenever there's a chance, some hope the prospect for a little cheer. Up pops the little creature to remind you of your failures and your pain, to sap your strength and confidence, to fill your mind with tight, self-conscious fear. And all begins again. And so, of course, you long for resolution, dreams of freedom, yearning now for final and unquestioned absolution from this never-ending toil, to escape this little creature, to get away forever. For when you do, you feel, at least, you will have the strength and the stamina to find that better path. And yet, and yet, and yet, the more you walk, the longer this goes on, 
the more you see and feel and sense the truth. That whilst this irksome little creature still besets you, the better path may not be found. You caress your golden locket, as all of this now forms so very, very clearly in your mind. And so, one day, today, for it might as well be now, you realize so clearly, as if You've truly known this all along. That better power will not be found, cannot be found, until you can solve the problem of that irksome little creature. But how? You know you cannot get away, escape the thing forever. For on this path, the two of you seem one, leading you to see what's true. The two of you are this, your life, and so you know, you can only choose to stop your frantic search for future happiness, to halt, to turn, to face this now, you caress your golden locket, and this brings you strong resolve. And so, you stop. No longer do you try to get away, which in itself is huge relief. A deeper peace than you imagined this could be. But there's no denying this you feel. And see, right now, the creature has stopped following too. And it also seems relieved at this. You see this in its twisted face as it's looking back at you. And one more time, you touch the golden locket, hanging on the golden chain you keep around your neck. Caress its smooth gold surface, bring to mind the pictures that are safely kept within. The one of you, as you are now, the other one, of you the way you'd like to be and feel forever after this. You see this second picture in your mind so very clearly now. And notice now, the creature also seems to touch and hold some precious thing around its neck. And seeing this, you sense the change within yourself begin. All fear of meeting that which you have been attempting to escape is turning into intrigue, curiosity, deep interest. Emboldened in that, you take a step towards the little creature, and look, the little creature takes a step towards you too, and slowly, 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 both approach their other one, until you meet at this place here, now, on your path, and see, beside this place, 
just off the path. There sits a tree stump by a stream of flowing water. And now, you see the little creature clearly for the first time, and your fear now falls away completely. As you see, this little creature harbors no ill will towards you after all. The look upon its face is deep discomfort, long-held sorrow, desperation, squinting out from tear-stained eyes. It clearly limps in pain, and you realize this creature needs your full attention, all your help and care. So now, your heart is opening. You see what's really true. This creature carries all the upset that you've suffered on this path for all the time it followed you. And see now, Imploringly, the little creature looks at you. It needs your love, support, and understanding. And now you see a little light upon this situation. On either foot, it wears the other shoe. The right shoe on the left foot and the left shoe on the right, and now begin to feel so very deeply for this little creature, and so explain the reason for the soreness of its feet, and why it has been limping all this time. You ask the little creature to sit down. The little creature does exactly as you ask, and leaves the path to sit upon the tree stump by the stream. You leave your path together, so your work can now be done. And notice now, your little creature's shoes are rather strange and unfamiliar in appearance, yet so well made, you see they last for years, yet each of them for now remains upon the foot it shouldn't be, the right shoe on the left foot and the left shoe on the right. And so, you can, gently now, untie the laces of those shoes, and as both shoes come off, several stones fall out of each. The little creature's face is softening. Now you see the light, and you hear a little whimper of relief. And so, Encouraged, you continue, removing and unrumpling both your creature's dirty socks. You wash them in the stream, and then you hang them on a twig to dry beneath the midday sun. And whilst your creature's socks dry out, you can straighten all your creatures, twisted little toes, taking water from the stream to wash and rinse them clean again. You massage each pain away. And now you see your little creature clearly 
is relieved and truly somewhat comforted. Yet, still, the tears are there, and still it looks at you imploringly. You look into its eyes and see that both of them are crusted up and swollen from dirt collected under both its eyelids. The only reason why it cries. And so, you wash these eyes with endless love and care and patience taking all the time you need. You also very, very delicately wipe the dirt away. You cleanse your little creature's face. You can feel the stress and tension all dissolving now and as each second passes until all dissolves away. And now that's done, you see the change. Your little creature's twisted facial features are relaxing now. They've lost their wild and angry look. Your little creature only looked at you the way it did because of inability to see what it now sees. Yet, still, your little creature looks imploringly at you. Its matted hair remains a mess of tangles, so now, you take your comb, and with the utmost care, untangle all the tangles, and you straighten out its messy, knotted tresses. And, whilst you're straightening its hair, you sense, of course, that things are really, truly changing now. And you notice something new. Your little creature has a golden chain on which there hangs a golden locket too, which, whilst you comb its hair, it lovingly caresses. And now, your little creature's hair is straight, and tidy. Its eyes are cleansed and comfortable. You check your little creature's socks left hanging from the twig, and yes, they're dry. And so, you gently put them on its clean wee feet again, followed by the left shoe on the left foot and the right shoe on the right. Yet, still your little creature looks at you imploringly. Of course you wonder why. It holds its locket in its hand, and you see now the little creature looks at yours, your golden locket hanging on the golden chain around your neck, in which you keep those pictures of yourself, the one of you as you are now, the other one of you the way you're going to be and feel forever after this. And feeling this, it comes to mind it's been a while, a long time now, since you've looked inside to see those pictures safely kept. And reaching up 
towards your neck, you hold your precious locket. Once again, your finger on the clasp, and as you look into your little creature's eyes, you see your creature does the same as you. You press the clasp, your locket opens, and as it does, so does the little creature. And now your locket opens, shows you what you haven't seen before. You look within and see the truth. You see the image of yourself as you are now has gone. It isn't there. And neither is the other one, the one of you as you are going to be and feel forever after this. The pictures that you see instead are of the other one who lives within this story, yes, are of your little creature who is standing right in front of you. One picture of your little creature as it was when on the path just a little while ago. But look, the other picture in your golden locket has the features of a glad and happy angel, a radiantly blissful human being, devoid of fear and filled with hope and confidence, with energy and stamina, with warmth and love, and everlasting cheer. Your little creature now removes its chain and golden locket, and it holds it out within its hand, and looks at you imploringly, expectantly, with fervent hope and heartfelt longing. Nothing now can stop what's coming, so you know just what you have to do. You take off your chain and golden locket, and you place this gently round your little creature's neck. This precious little creature you have tried to get away from all this time, now climbs and stands upon the tree stump ready to deliver what is yours. The golden chain and locket, which you thought you carried all these years, was not in actual fact. It was carried by your other. Your creature places now your chain around your neck, containing both those pictures which you now know are of you. A wonderful experience. But wait, this story isn't over yet, because as you see now, your precious little creature points behind you to the painful path on which you once walked both together. You turn to look and see that painful path is now a river and it flows 
the other way. And when you turn again towards your little creature, see the stream from which you took the water is now a path of fresh green grass. No stones or broken glass to hurt your feet. The perfect path to walk on. And there, upon the tree stump, no creature to be seen, just a pair of well-made shoes. You see, we will last for years, and which, you know, will fit your feet. You put them on, they do. Your heart is filled with wonder, astonishing, remarkable, so perfectly acceptable. You reach up for your golden locket, but you find it isn't there. Of course, that's right. No image needed when you know you are the source of light within you. The world has changed, and all is well path is new and bright and wonderful and easy now to walk on. So you do. And feeling now, all hurt inside is healing how it should in all the good and natural ways of course it would. For no longer are you trying to escape that other part. Internal conflict ended when you see and sense these things are solved completely and forever. Inner peace in place of things. Deep within your heart. And I wonder, just how fully, truly deeply, do you see and sense and feel this change? Truly, fully, deeply, now, how could you not? Your struggle over, strength return as sweet release extends through all dimensions equally. Bright morning in your soul, a rising sun within your heart, shining out eternally, a glad and joyous inner celebration, knowing this is so. You see the light is good and all is well again. You see the light is good and all is well again. Just so. And you can Sense this very clearly, yes. So very, very deeply in your soul. Accepting self in such a way that you now feel you are completely free. And that, of course, feels good. And that, of course, feels right. This road so easy now to travel, being you are gliding now, angelic being filled 
with the light, and breathing in calm confidence, truly real, yet easy with it, comfortable, just right. You sense something a long time lost, returned to you, this central, crucial feeling, full, unquestioned self-acceptance, now, again, becoming whole, as you were then, so long ago, yet deeper, richer, so much more than you have ever known or knew could be. And I can say to you, with full and proper confidence, this path on which you walk right now has led you here, as here you are, with him, this present moment, where this, your better path, for as long as you may choose. Now follows on these words.